Welcome to Should It Be a Mead? Today, we're asking, should Skittles be a mead? Let's get started. All right, so if you've seen any of the other episodes of the show, you know that we take an outlandish thing, and we put it to the test to see if it can be a mead. Um, recently, I've been on a candy hit of mead making. Um, so this episode is Skittles. I went and bought this whole little tub, 54 ounce thing of Skittles from uh, Sam's, and basically just put it into water. Um, I'll go ahead and tell you my recipe, so it's right here. 54 ounces of Skittles, um, water up to roughly about a gallon, a pound of clover honey. We're gonna use the Lalvin D47 yeast and Fermaid O for nutrients, um, sanitizing stuff, all that stuff. It's also part of the world. So I'll show you exactly what I did. I poured 54 ounces of Skittles, of mixed flavor Skittles. I was not gonna separate them out and do individual ones because that's a lot. So it's the whole smorgasbord. Put 54 ounces of Skittles into a pot, filled it up with water, boiled them all down, added um, a pound of honey at the end to help it mix in quickly. We then took and poured that into this bucket. It's currently still hot because I just finished doing that, but I did take a small segment of it and put this into the fridge for a while so it would cool down. So this is room temp. Our starting gravity for this one is about 1.112. So we're setting at a little bit above 14%, which fun fact, the D47 lands at 14%, generally speaking. Um, this is too hot to include the yeast right now, so that's okay. What we're gonna do, I am going to let this cool down, which will probably cool down by the end of the evening. Um, I'm gonna pitch my yeast on top once it gets to about 80 degrees. Um, and then I will put some Fermade O in because we want some nutrients. I'm gonna front load it because I'm lazy. Anyways, the real question, should this be a mead? We're gonna find out in this episode. I want you to go down below right now and comment. Do you think Skittles can be a mead? Let me know. All right, we're gonna come back when it's ready or time to pitch the yeast. All right, so I think we might have found the first thing that I've put to the test that can't be a mead. Now, um, or sh shouldn't be a mead. Now, I'm sure there are gonna be some people uh, on the Reddit, r slash uh, hooch, well, hello my friends over there right now, who are gonna get mad at me for giving up on this, but this Skittles mead, it ain't, it is not working. Um, let me tell you what happened with it. It's been sitting for, two months now. The fermentation kicked off. I'm even going to do another gravity reading, but the fermentation kicked off and uh, it didn't really start going anywhere. I'll be honest. It, um, it's falling flat. Let me get you a gravity reading. All right. So we, uh, first of all, I went through all the right protocols. I'll say that. Starting gravity was 1.112. I gave it Fermaid O. Um, I noticed that the, it wasn't kicking off. Like it didn't start fermenting very well. So I did add Fermi dough and that kind of helped a little bit, but it first of all developed like a weird, honestly like hard shell on top of the bucket. And I'll show you a picture of it. At first I was like, oh crap, is that uh, bacteria? No, it was like the Skittle coating. I don't really know. The Skittles themselves made some weird kind of coating that I literally had to scoop off of the brew. It looked really sketchy. Like I bet if I put that somewhere up, someone would think it's a fungus. It's not. It was the Skittle stuff. It did that, pulled it off of that. I took a gravity reading. It was at 1.060. That was about a month and a half ago. We are again still at 1.060. Um, after I noticed it, I was like, well, maybe if I give it more Fermi dough, that'll help. That didn't help. 
Well, I then took and made a yeast starter. I took part of this brew, and then I took some new yeast, some, uh, I think you used 71B the second time, and put that into a yeast starter, let that start fermenting and going. I pitched that into here. That didn't even start going, and I'd given that go firm and all those other things. Um, I think there's something, I know that Skittles are just sugar, but there's something weird about this. We're stuck at 1.060. I don't really know what's going on. Honestly, don't have a lot of care to try and keep this going. I know, again, people are gonna start yelling at me, typing frantically that I am not, I've given up too quick, but this doesn't feel right. <laughs> I've put a lot of things to the test. I've done bubblegum, Starburst, Sour Patch. Um, I've done regular ingredient combinations, like this one feels real sketchy. For science! I am gonna go ahead and taste test this. Uh, we've only burned through, whatever, 62 points of gravity, so we're setting at, I don't know, somewhere in like a 7.8, 9% uh, brew. What does this thing even taste like before we totally toss it to the wind? Mm. Ooh, oh, the, the combinations of Skittles. Ooh, that is not good. It's so thick. Like the lemon Skittles or whatever, lime Skittles, are like super overpowering. It's, ah, it's acidic. That's not good. That's even sweet. Sweetness theoretically would help this brew. Like I feel like if this went dry, it would be really, really bad. That's with sweetness. That's so thick. I haven't taste tested it, by the way. I've been waiting for this moment to see if I could get it to go anywhere. Should Skittles be a mead? I am gonna go ahead and say no. Now, I've again, I've put some crazy things to the test that have worked. This one did not work. So, my final answer, should Skittles be a mead? No, Skittles should not be a mead. It's the first time this has happened on this show and I'm saddened to say if it's true. If you would like to try a Skittles brew, feel free to do so. Um, the recipe's right here, but I don't think it works. Maybe it'll work for you. Um, I have enjoyed getting to try this. My first time getting one that just totally failed, and that's okay. Sometimes you have to have failures in mead making. Hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you will come back for a future video, and I'll see you again in the future. Cheers.